Welcome to another episode of Red Links TV. I'm Cannibal Shogun, and as always, this is Trials HD. This time around, we'll show you Micro Trials, one of many amazing tracks from this month's featured user, Storkin. Then we'll shine a spotlight on TrialsHD.net, the brainchild of GameScrub and a great addition to the Trials HD universe. In the Build Your Skills section, I'll get back to detailing the DLC tools and share my wisdom on win. Last up, it's the Winner Cycle, where we'll hand out more prizes and set you on the path to glory with a new challenge. Alright Trials Riders, let's ride some trials. What's up Trials Heads? Last episode, we asked you to participate in the voting for the 2009 Xbox Live Arcade Awards, and the response was fantastic. Trials HD came out the clear-cut winner, walking away with two awards and missing out on a third by only half a percentage point. Our favorite game scored a win for Best Innovation. Even more impressive though was the big win for Best Overall Arcade Game. Movie cliches be damned, Trials HD actually is a no-holds-barred, adrenaline-fueled thrill ride and the voters agree. So thank you for doing your part in helping to make Trials HD world champ. And we certainly can't forget our good friends at Red Links who saw all their hard work pay off this award season. Oh, you didn't hear? Trials HD also took home top honors at the Finnish Game Awards. It's almost unfair how many props this game's getting. Oh, who am I kidding? It's Trials time, baby! Meet Storkin, or as we've come to call him, the next big thing. On tracks like Harbor Race and Train Brain, he demonstrated not only a keen eye for detail, but the ability to execute a concept with frightening precision. So without further ado, feast your eyes on Micro Trials. Storkin likes to take a simple idea and flesh out something advanced, which you can see on full display in this map. The script is totally flipped here, as your rider takes a trip through the world of a giant. As you head from room to room, we dare you to not be in awe of what you see. Storkin has played some of the best games on the best systems. While Trials HD may be an arcade title, Storkin says it deserves all its accolades. In fact, in his mind, Trials HD rates as one of the all-time best games ever made. Take a bow, Storkin. You've certainly shown the Red Links TV audience how map making is done. One of the most rewarding things about being a part of a dedicated fan base is when you're able to give back to that community. Rafael Artigas, aka GameScrub, did just that when he created TrialsHD.net. Rafael saw a need and filled it, building a site that allows map makers to promote their tracks and riders to compete for prizes. Help came from the likes of Jared88. Megatrain, Akatsuki UK, and his own brother. Though he deserves his props, GameScrub insists on modesty, saying he created the site to be a tool that he hoped Red Links could use to extend the life of his favorite game. Whether you build or ride, if you dig Trials HD custom tracks, you need to be on this site like an infection. You can search for tracks, then ride your wheels off and calculate your global score. But there's no noob tube in this game, so if you want to rank up, you'll have to put in some time on the bike like you were Lance Armstrong. Click on the Challenge tab and see a list of Season 1 tracks and put your hat in the ring. Season 2 features a new crop of tracks and is coming soon, so be on the lookout. Overall, the site exists to expand the Trials HD experience, and the more users, the better. Oh yeah, and GameScrub has some big plans for the site in the future, including ranked battles, achievements for users and map makers, a rival comparison tool, and much, much more. We can't spoil it all for you now, so head on over and check it out for yourself. That's TrialsHD.net. Okay friends, time to get your learn on. This time around, we'll get back into detailing the tools from the Big Pack DLC and talk about the wind forces. The wind tools are basically an invisible force you can place in your map that'll push your rider or other physics enabled object in a certain direction. When you bring up your items menu and find the DLC tools, you'll see there are three wind forces, weak, medium, and strong. As you may imagine, the force applied by each is stronger as you go up. Let's spawn some wind and take a look at it. 
The wind force shows up in the editor as a big sphere represented by dashed blue lines on the outside and in the center we have arrows that represent the direction of the wind. One arrow for weak wind, two for medium, and three for strong. The wind is strongest in the center where these arrows are. It gets weaker as you move away from the center and is applying zero force by the time you reach the outer edge. Like any object, you can rotate your wind force and have the wind blowing in whatever direction you like. The force of the wind is always active, but if you bring up the object menu for it, you'll notice one very cool thing about wind is that it can have physics activated on it, and like most other objects, this can be activated with a trigger. However, unlike other objects in the game, the wind does not fall when physics are activated. It moves in whatever direction it's blowing. This opens up all kinds of possibilities. I've used it to have the wind seem to turn on or off, or even to push other objects around the environment. A few things to keep in mind when working with wind. First, the medium and strong wind forces apply enough force to crash your rider if he passes directly through them. When using multiple wind forces, be careful of overlap. The areas where they overlap will have increased force and again can crash your rider if he hits them wrong. With physics active, your wind will keep moving. When I create an obstacle with moving wind, I make sure to glue it to a hinge, slider, or other object in order to control its movement and keep it from flying all over the map. Finally, physics activated wind can set off a trigger. You can safely place a trigger inside the sphere of the wind force, but get it too close to the center and the wind will activate that trigger. It's also important to keep in mind when working with moving wind. If your wind passes through a trigger, it'll activate it. One final thing to mention while working with wind is the dust in the DLC effects palette. The dust can be used to create a visual representation of your wind to let a rider know where wind is present on a track. Place the dust in your wind force and you will see little particles moving in the direction of the wind. There you have it, the basics of working with wind. I hope I provided a little insight into these new tools and maybe a little inspiration for your next creation. <coughs> Fire them up, riders. It's your turn again in the winter cycle. You've kicked up dust on epic jumps before, but have you ever ridden it on the donkey? That's right. This time we want you to get on the mini bike and test your limits. To enter, upload your best run to YouTube. Begin the name with Red Links TV EP003, followed by your gamer tag. Once your video is online, email wintercycle at redlinks.com with the link. This time, first prize goes to the rider with the least faults and quickest run. But fear not if you're not yet a master on the donkey, because second place will be chosen randomly using Red Links official human dart technique. And as always, Red Links has you covered with the hottest prizes around. The winners of this episode's competition can make all their friends jealous with this stylish Trials HD hoodie. On the last episode, we dished out our first building challenge, and we were impressed by what we saw as you all reinforced that the Trials HD community is the most creative group of gamers out there. We had to award first place to Maximus Tech in his map Granite Tank. This mechanical monster is the definition of a mad machine. And proving he can do more than just ride, Scrumblekins is taking second with his own mad creation. A special thanks goes out to our guest judge, GameScrub. Thanks for the assist. Congratulations to all our winners. You've rightfully earned your bragging rights and free gear. All good things must come to an end, and this show is no exception. Thanks to Storkin and GameScrub for their cooperation, Red Links for their help, and the builders who submitted their mad machines, including our big winners. Thanks to all our viewers for your support. Keep spreading the word. Join us next time for another featured user track, tutorial, and competition. Until then, keep cranking that throttle. Red Links TV out. <laughs>